So normally when I demo a game, I know pretty much everything there is to know about it. I like to know, is it good, for starters? How you play it? What is the game feeling like? And what's kind of like its bare bones game type, you know? Also, I like to look at the uh, developer's previous games just to be like, oh, okay, they've either evolved or, you know, have just started out and they're really good. Uh, but there are, you know, one out of ten times a very odd game that I come across. And not the odd as in, what the... Not that kind of odd. More like the odd as in, I don't know what I'm looking at, this is confusing type of odd. Not the weird odd, the what odd. But anyway, um, on certain days today being one of those days, I feel adventurous, and I'm like, okay, I kind of just want to sit down and learn one of these what's going on type of games, and Project Suburban is one of those games. What it is, and how it's presented, are interesting. So what it is, is a market manipulation investment profit-making game. Basically, you buy items low and sell items high to make a profit. It's a market manipulation game. Plain and simple at that. But the way it's presented and its general image and tutorial, which is none, uh, is confusing. So while I may only understand about 80% of this game, I think with that 80%, I can basically explain the game enough where you can start playing and then figure the rest out for yourself. Because this game is good. Like, I was actually quite surprised. It's, it's very spreadsheety and numbers, but if you like that kind of stuff, this is pretty good, especially because it adds a little bit of a timed element. See, you have a debt that needs to be paid off in a certain amount of time, and if you don't, your legs get broken. I'm just assuming. I, I don't know what's going to happen. You might have to go and sell your organs, because, you know, this is the very, very distant future in a very interesting post-apocalyptic world thing. The setting's actually quite interesting, and it makes sense for how you play this game. So, like I said, there is interesting stuff in this game, it's just really, really obtuse. Because if you haven't noticed already, at the, the main focus of the screen is lines and dots with numbers. And I... I don't know... Okay, well, let's let's get to the stuff I do know, all right? We'll start off simple. Because this is a market manipulation game, you need to buy and sell things. So, your main focus isn't on the most of the screen here. It is at the bottom lower right area, okay? You have your little HUD area. Now, with any market manipulation game, you need to know about the market, and there, if you know how this works, good for you. Uh, so, the basics are where you are in the map, because yes, this is a map, a uh, big red U symbol, or letters, a word, is where you are, and at that specific station, because this is a subway station, like I said, world's actually quite interesting. At this specific station, it has certain stocks. So at this one specifically, it's got cards, it's got shards, it's got some bulbs, but otherwise it doesn't have anything else. From that, you can see how much it has and how much it will cost to buy one of those things, including if you want to buy all of the said stock of that specific item. Unfortunately, I can't, because I only have $500 to my name. Speaking of dollars, th yes, they're euros. And that did throw me, because I'm American, and what the fuck's a euro? 
right? So if you're American like me and don't understand Euro conversion, uh, just think of them as numbers. Just throw away the Euro and whatever. Uh, but to the person that made this game, I do appreciate, though, that you did put Euro. Not, in the, not a lot of people are gutsy enough to be like, I'm just going to make it a Euro and not, like, dollar sign or yen. Like, y you stuck to your guts. So, points to you. So I have 500 Euros to my name, and I can afford a, a decent amount of stock here. But because we need to buy low we need to make our purchases very carefully, which is why we have, I think, here comes the possible understanding issues here. I think the little weird red semi-circle pie system thing off to the left of your HUD is the market value because the more because because what I've noticed from playing this, the less red there is in the circle, the cheaper the item is overall or at that station specifically. And the more it is, the higher the price is itself. So you want to buy low, sell high. Cards are, I think, very cheap here. So we are going to buy. If we use our mouse, this is a completely mouse-driven game. Uh, we're going to click on, um, you know what? We're just going to buy all of that. We spent 240 bucks on 10 cards. Hopefully that is not a purchase we regret. We will find that out. But that did ch take a good chunk of cash out of our thing. If we actually hover over ready cash we only have 70 percent uh 77 percent of what we need to pay off a debt so ha also time went down every time you buy some every time you do an action your time will go down so we just spent 10 turns 10 minutes buying 10 items now if i'm not mistaken i, I probably will be mistaken maybe if we press the control or the shift to do something it'll shorten time we'll try you know what we'll try that the next station we go to because we are going to have to go to another station in order to sell these specific goods for a profit now for the moment we can look away from our hud and go to the map and yes like i said this is a map this is a subway map so if you kind of are, you know, used to a metro or whatever train system your local establishing, uh, establish, establishing government has, uh, you may understand this a little bit better. But what I don't understand is the numbers connected to it, all right? This is, this is probably the big thing I don't understand, kind of, okay? So... If we go, let's let's hover over this one here, uh, whatever the name of that is. What we know here, or what the tooltip is saying, is we can travel, and we don't know the prices of the items there, which is actually kind of in, uh, kind of cool because you have to go to the place to know what the place is selling and doing. Once you've traveled there, you know it for life. So. I, I like the simplicity, but I like the complexity as well. Good good connection. What I don't get is the highlighted number, 9 plus 5, and then the next 2, 9. I, I don't understand that. I think the 9 plus 5 is time it takes to travel. Because I've, I've done some tests, and I think, let's see, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That should be 14. So if we take our mouse and we hold click on the next station, we will go there. It'll take our time, and that did take, let's see, 4 plus the 1. Yeah, we had uh, 590 minutes. That took us 14 minutes to travel. What does the number underneath mean next? Because that's... Uh, I, I don't know. There, there's some 
like I said, there's some obtuseness there, but generally, like I said, 80% understand it. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, since we are now at this new station, a whole bunch of new stations have appeared. Now, keep in mind also, this is a little roguelite, so, um, the map changes and is random every single time you play. So, if you want, if you want to do market management a whole bunch of times, this is, this is actually pretty decent. Uh, so, now that we are at a different station, we can see that our, you know, the cards are actually really, really wanted here. Like, the, the, the red is huge, and we can sell all of this for quite a good profit. Especially because we can look over here. Uh, if we take our hover, if, if we take our mouse and hover over our current position, it tells us the current market standings of this area. But if we go to our previous location, we still know the market standings there. And there's a lot of information. There's the upticks and the downticks and the whatnot. So if we if we look at specifically cards, it 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 goes down if we go there by 21 euro so this actually is quite the profit so if we go over here we're gonna go shift sell all so selling does not take uh time it looks like or i did something weird uh but yeah no i sold all the cards i got a profit because it was originally 500 now i have 20 percent of what i need Problem is, now I don't have anything I can buy here because the, the low price stuff is non-existent and the high price stuff is really high up, so I have to go somewhere else now to buy something. I could go back over here, but stock doesn't change. Like, I mean, the stocked items, I mean, doesn't change. So you actually have to travel all over the map in order to do multiple different things. And that's where I think the complexity of the, the, the real gameplay complexity com comes into play, not the obtuse numbers jargon stuff. The actual, this is the game, this is the goal type of complexity. Because as you dot around the map, you're losing precious time. So in order to find a good deal, you need to search for it but as you search for it time goes down so maybe sometimes you sell stuff not at a good price just so that you have enough cash to get something at a good price it it i like it because there is urgency in a lot of or, or at least games that i know of stock manipulation wise there isn't as much urgency as there should be you can wait on the stuff you have for like 10 turns or something and just take your time in getting that interest. But with this, you you can't take your time. You need the money now. So, by and large, pun intended, that's the game. Other stuff aside, understanding the game itself, Nah, but the game play is actually quite good. So let's continue. Now that you kind of understand, or at least understand as well as I do this game, maybe we'll figure something else out while we do it. Uh, right, so where we want to travel now is probably this place, because if we go there, we'll reveal five new connections. So let's go there, hold click. And then we've already we already know those ones, so we're okay here. Took some time. Okay, what's the stock here? Oh god, there's no car. Everything is really expensive here. Okay. Um. All right, we'll go over here then. What's what's expensive here? Food is at an all-time low. Chips, low enough. All right, let's go. Control click. We're gonna buy five, and that did take uh, five, five, six, seven things. I don't actually know. I didn't. I don't remember. <laughs> Short term memory. I don't remember what the number was originally. Oh dear. But yeah. Okay. We'll buy five. We'll see. And if we check on the markets that we've already gone to, 
Uh, the food price goes up by 13 there. By tw uh, food goes 18 there, 13 there. So food, you know, we can we can sell at an okay profit. Some places. Where else are we gonna go? Here, we'll go to this one right here. So what do they got to sell? Cards, bulbs, chips. We can sell the chips here, but that's not enough of a profit that I want. The map, by the way, is surprisingly small once you've explored it enough, so I actually like the crampedness and everything. What's this place got that I might want? Shards. Ooh, shards are... You know what? We're going to buy all of those shards. That is a very cheap price for shards. Uh, and if we go here... That's going to be a very big uptick on shards there. Do Is there a better one around? It's about the same there. All right, so shift click. Now we're gonna sell all of those. We made quite a profit. Uh, chips are the only thing that we're kind of worried about. Um, which, by the way, map moving around, you can only move to connecting points to where you're connected to. You can't like, I can't go here, even though I'm here, so. Remember that when you're trying to buy and sell things. I also can't take a jump, so you have to go, you know, jumping, jumping. Whatever. It's it, the map movement is the least obtuse thing that is in the game. Let's see now. Uh, yeah, no, we we haven't been here before. It doesn't reveal anything, but it's not terrible. Ooh, chips are selling all of those. Chips are pretty good there. All right, do we want to buy some fluid? Where else, what, what's some fluid pricing? Up by two, up by four, up by four. No, fluid at that price, buying and selling it wouldn't make much of a profit. Let's, let's look around here. Let's, let's try and go to a place we haven't been to. We've been to, actually, we've been to all of the ones we've been around there. Um, they don't have anything. Any? Do they have anything? They have no. They don't have bulbs. Everything is so expensive. Actually, you know what? They have the chips. The rest of the chips here. I'm gonna buy the rest of those chips. So we're gonna do that. Uh, this is a spot. All right. What do you got here for me, buddy? You have nothing but fluid. Five for seventy. That might be okay, cause, yeah, no, fluid pricing, fluid pricing doesn't go up too much, but I think the investment of a 70 would actually be okay. Oh yeah, no, you, that's, that's the easy thing. You can actually go over and hover over your uh, items here and check out the entire map that's actually a really nice touch i really like this detail because we know what everything here is we have this yeah this wouldn't be the best place to sell the chips that i just got let's go here and we have what we have here cards cards are pretty cheap cards and food are pretty cheap here if I cards I can make a prop quite a interesting profit on cards and food actually let's go let's let's buy all the cards and can we buy how about chips chips are I can get a better profit from someplace else. All right, we'll then go to, because we just bought that. Actually, if we go here, and we're gonna wanna sell, buy and sell some stuff here as well. As we're headed off to that side there, that's a bad, no, okay. So we're gonna go here then, to this one. And if we sell all of these and all of those, we've made a nice little profit. I okay so yeah no this is basically the entire game and time wise and cash wise you know we're 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 on a good streak I think 
But that's basically the game. So if you found this interesting, good for you. The link to it is in the description below. My name has been Dark Arts, and yeah, no, I, I really like this game. It's, 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 it's a lesson for me in give something a try. You know, because like I said, one out of ten times, there's games like this where I'm like, ooh, that looks complicated. And so I think a lesson to me is try the complicated games a little bit more. That, that might actually be a decent thing to find some interesting things. Same as you. If, you, if you. if there's a game that you think is a little too complicated, give it a shot. You know? Maybe you'll find it interesting. Maybe it's just hidden underneath all the freaking math.